Greetings, Jordan Peterson. I have come to fact check you. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, recently, Jordan Peterson, whom I like, he has made a few tweets basically calling anonymous commentators, anonymous posters, cowards. Now, I understand where he is coming from. I understand that he is sick of anonymous individuals using their anonymity to insult others or to say things that are outrageous and edgy for the sake of it. But I would say that if you were to ask me the question, does being anonymous make you a coward? No, it doesn't. I think it makes you intelligent and prudent because it's not so fun to have your life destroyed. Uh, it's not so fun being cancelled as has happened to many individuals and uh, there is a price to be paid if you stray from the from the moral framework which I have discussed at length in my podcast which you can listen to and yeah you're all familiar with cancel culture so it can be worth staying under the radar living a normal life having a normal job so that you can support those who are public figures who can't get a normal job because yeah they have been they have been cancelled because they say certain things they express certain political opinions which aren't uh, within the aforementioned moral framework now I've been cancelled for as long as I have been a public figure basically Um, so yeah and my great crime you ask it's always quite hard to explain why you are cancelled because it's such such a sensible centrist position so basically what i have said is that i believe it's wrong for europeans to be replaced in their own countries therefore i am a right-wing uh, extremist or whatever label they use So it's not always so nice to be cancelled and if there isn't any need, for me there is actually a need to be a public figure because of my unique talents and everything like that. But you don't need to be a public figure to do good things. You can still be a a good influence on the the metapolitical struggle being anonymous as long as you post good things and you, you know, lay out arguments in a coherent and appealing manner. So I'd say it's quite unfair to label anonymous posters cowards. I could agree with Jordan Pitch on that the individuals who are who use their anonymity to insult others, yeah they could be called cowards but to simply be prudent to stay under the radar for the sake of not being cancelled, it's uh, absolutely a valid course of action. And it, does, and it absolutely does not make you a coward. Now, there is something to be said though about these individuals who view the very, the very survival of European civilization. They view it as a joke. They view it as a hobby, as a distraction. And then, of course, they go online, uh, post very controversial things just for, just for the sake of it, because it's supposed to be edging controversial. They want a kick of being radical, uh, pseudo-radical, pseudo-edgy, you can't really be edgy if you're anonymous. Um, So there is that danger and I do believe that anonymity, it also causes a lot of damage but in order for us to have a free discourse, and I'm hardly the first one who says this, um, in order for us to have, truly have freedom of speech, truly have an open and honest discourse, we need you know, anonymity, because otherwise there is always the risk of paying a very heavy price for, you know, criticizing the wrong individuals. So, again, they say we have freedom of speech, uh, which we don't in Europe, for example. We don't have freedom of speech in the same way as you have in the US. But even in the US, where you supposedly have freedom of speech, if you say the wrong thing, you will be cancelled and Yeah, I mean, it's worse than a prison sentence for many. In Sweden, you can go to prison for, you know, a thought crime for a few months, but if you're not cancelled, that might actually be a 
a more lenient punishment in in many ways so I would say that having the option to remain anonymous it's a yeah it's a fundamental key to having a, a truly honest uh, discussion so anyway just a short check-in from this beautiful winter landscape with my thoughts to recap you do absolutely not need to feel bad for staying anonymous I think it's a good thing I think it's good intelligent prudent to be anonymous as long as you don't misuse that anonymity to behave in a dishonorable manner so don't post things that you don't really mean uh, don't insult people just try to present your opinions in a in a normal way like a normal person would and uh, and uh, all will be well and I can say the following as well that it's quite annoying as a public figure to have to deal with anonymous posters posting a lot of truly well I will state this diplomatically truly unintelligent things on your posts and they cover behind anonymity again if you can express yourself in a as a normal person it's good if you can't handle that then you shouldn't post at all so anyway do stay anonymous if you want do support the guys and girls who are out in the open and uh, yeah view anonymity as a gift that you should use responsibly and now also lastly to Jordan Pitchum if you happen to watch this you need to dominate your inner chaos I understand that your emotions they run hot when you you've had your fill of these guys who are anonymously criticizing you and you know comment disrespectful things towards you um, I don't endorse this in the list I think you should be respectful towards him uh, but Jordan Pitson you can't let your emotions dictate a good policy for freedom of speech you need to conquer your inner chaos so yeah that being said thank you all for watching xxo boom